Okay, welcome to Basic Animation in Python 3, Part 6. Uh, and for now, this is the last part. Um, so in this part, we're going to learn how to use a class uh, and objects to make our code uh, reproducible, uh, to make it easier to manage and to maintain. Uh, and this is pretty cool stuff. But like I said uh, at the end of the last video, this is a bit more advanced. You may not be ready for this. Um, you should know something about classes before coming into this. Um, there's a really good uh, class tutorial by Socratica. If you look that up, they have a really, really good one, which is what I show my students actually. Okay, so let me just show you what we have so far in case you're coming back from a break. Um, we have a, basically a little animating uh, character here, and I've called it Player, uh, even though it's actually the enemy in uh, Space Invaders. Uh, but those are the GIFs I had. So uh, we've been using this whole thing, the idea of a frame, like the current frame that you're on, um, and then frames for animation. So again, we could have Invader 3, Invader 4, Invader 5, whatever. Um, this code will work for anything. But what we want to do is we want to create a class. Um, and a class is simply a piece of code that defines how an object operates. Um, so watch what I do here. So there's actually quite a bit of advanced stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go create a class. I'm going to call it class. I'm going to call it player. And I'm going to put here turtle, turtle dot turtle. Again, as I mentioned earlier, this is quite a jump up in concepts and coding. Um, so I'm saying that the player is a turtle. Uh, it is a child, it's called a child of the turtle class. And then I need a function here called init. This is two underscores, not one. I get that question all the time. Um, and it's two underscores before and two underscores after. And then I'm going to put in here self. Self's a little hard to explain, uh, but in the case of player, self would be the player. If I make a player two, then self would be player two. Okay. So with the turtle, I gotta do a couple things. I'm gonna put here self.pen up. I didn't put that in the last one because we didn't move it, but it'll come in handy a little bit later. Uh, and then I'm gonna basically kind of do this stuff here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy that. I'm gonna cut and paste actually. But I do need to make some changes. Okay, so watch the indentation. I'm not gonna use player here. I'm gonna use self. Okay. Oops. And self and self. Okay. So what I'm saying is that this player has a shape, this player has a color, this player has frame, and this player has frames. I did miss one thing actually here, sorry. Um, turtle dot turtle uh, dot again two underscores in it underscore underscore self. And what that does is it initializes, that's what init means, this turtle object. Um, and then I'm initializing the player. Again, if you, I, I don't, this isn't really about classes. This is if you know how to use classes, um, we're going to use it here. So what I want to do here is I'm going to say my player, I'm not going to say it's a turtle.turtle, I'm going to say it's a player. And it's automatically going to be a turtle. Okay. And then when I create this, this method is called, it's a special method called init, and has two underscores before and two underscores after. Um, all this code is gonna run. So when I say player, it's gonna say, it's a turtle, it's gonna initialize the turtle. It's gonna player.penup, player.shape, player.color, player.frame, player.frames. So that self is replaced by player. Okay. Now, the thing about classes, is that we want them to be self-contained. So basically everything they do should be inside that code. So for that reason, I'm gonna copy this animation code and I'm gonna put it up here and then I'm gonna indent it so it's inside the class. Okay, so you see how it's lined up. These two functions are lined up, these two methods. Okay, now, because I'm inside a class, I can't use player anymore. I gotta use self. Okay. And you'll see why in a, in a few minutes, I hope. And... Oops. Oops. And 
actually, and then the second thing I want to do here is I don't want this to say player animate anymore. I'm just going to call this animate. I'm going to make it a little bit more general. Okay. And in this case, it's got to be self.animate because I want the player to animate itself. Okay. And then down here, this is going to be out now. Now that I'm outside the method, it's player dot not underscore dot animate. Okay, so I'm going to run that, and hopefully that will keep working. Error. Animate takes okay. So when you see this error, animate takes zero positional arguments, but one was given. In this particular case, because I'm inside of a method, I got to put self. Okay, again, it's a bit, bit much to explain here, but uh, trust me on this one. So I'm going to hit function F5 in Genie, and now it's running. Okay, So you may be wondering, why do we do all that work to convert it in, well, not all that work, but why do we convert it into a class? So if you remember what I said earlier, um, what if I wanted to have two players, or three players, or four players? Um, in the original code, I would have to copy, change everything to player two, if I want player three. But what I can do now, this is where it gets really cool, is I can say player two is a player. Okay, that's where this player comes from here. And then I'll say player two, go to, I'll have it go to zero, let's see, 100. Actually, I'll have it go to minus 100. We'll do it, keep it on the same level. So go minus 100 and zero. And then I'm going to say player two dot animate. Let me put this up here. It doesn't really matter, but I can put it up here so it's consistent. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and run that and watch what happens. Now I've got two animations going with the same code, which is what's really cool. So instead of having to copy and paste all that code, change player to player two. Because I'm using a class, I'm saying that this player and this player, player two and player, they are behaving the same way. They have the same methods. They could do the same things. So then now I can just, I basically have unlimited. I can go ahead and, and do a player three. Now everything does have to have a unique name. Uh, and I'm going to put this at 100, zero. I'm going to go ahead and run it. Okay, so this is, this is the original player, this is player two, and this is player three. And you notice that they're animated at you know, slightly different times because they started animating at different times. Um, so this gives your, your, your animation, makes it look a little bit, bit more realistic. Um, they're not all bouncing at the same time or, or changing at the same time. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, that is my basic animation tutorial. Uh, again, the use of classes is really, really, really important. Um, so the sooner that you can master this concept or at least become comfortable with it, uh, the better. And again, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's the, the list stuff and, and the frame, using frames and all those sorts of things. Uh, but I think if you go back and watch it carefully uh, and go through it, you'll, you'll, you'll get it. And if you're having trouble with some of the, the coding concepts, you definitely want to check out my basic Python 3 uh, tutorial just because it walks you through all of those things except classes. Um, again, I use look up the Socratica one. If I remember, I'll put the uh, the link down below. Okay, so um, yeah, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoy playing around with that. Again, um, use GIFs. You can have as many of these as you like in this list, and it will work because the code uh, checks for the length of the list. Um, this is yeah, this is pretty cool. It's pretty self-contained, and I hopefully it is straightforward for you. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. If you are having trouble, um, feel free to post in the comments. Uh, but please note that I need to see the code. I need to know any error messages that you're having. Otherwise, I cannot help you. So anyway, keep on coding. Take care.